welcome back to Reviewed by Tim. Today I've got something that I never thought I would have so early in this production. It is a 2022 Corolla GR. Take a look at this thing. Guys, it is wide, it's got fender flares, it's six speed, it's all wheel drive, and it's got a turbo. Are you kidding me, Toyota? You did not have to go this hard on this, but you guys did a great job and I can't wait to show the audience here exactly what this car really is. So we're gonna start with the exterior guys, then we're gonna get into the engine bay because the engine always comes first to me before the interior. Then we're gonna move into the interior and show you guys all the cool little features and whatnot. The main thing that I love about this car is guys, it's got fender flares. Take a look at this thing. She's got hips, she is wide all the way around and Toyota did not have to give us that. They could have given us everything else and just gave us like a regular Corolla hatch body and we would have been happy. They did not. They went the extra mile and gave us what we're looking for. Now, the other great thing I love about this car is this active arrow on this car. If you come to the side fender here, it's actually real arrow there, and that's going to be a real port. And then you come to the front bumper as well down here, and you're going to have active arrow as well, guys. This is going to feed air to your rim and your, your caliber down there, and that's going to be an 18-inch rim on Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires. Check out this body line. Look at this front fender here and check out how this body line flows up the car and goes all the way to the rear and then it's complemented by this fender flare all the way to the back. This is kind of a rally style um, bumper and it just makes the car look so wide and fat. I love the look, Toyota, great job. Just look at all the symmetry here and look at all the body lines on the trunk. It gives it a real nice kind of profile here. This looks like a rally car at the end of the day. The left and the right exhaust are gonna be active at all times, and then the middle exhaust is gonna be active under full throttle. It rumbles, it's kinda, so it kinda has that little three cylinder effect there, really nice. So then you're gonna to come to the right side of the car, and you're gonna see that GR4 is um, printed right there on the side skirt. What a great touch Toyota gave. Guys, I wanna see you guys coloring that in in the future. Some guys are gonna put red, black, blue, you name it. Can't wait to see what kind of colors you guys put down there to customize the car for yourself. On the left and right side of the Toyota emblem, you're gonna have air ducting that's gonna feed air into the bonnet, help keep the engine and all those components cool. You're gonna have a huge black front bumper here, and then you're gonna have a nice fat inner cooler in there. Then you come to the headlights in the front here. Now this is not a mechanical headlight, and that's one thing I love about Toyota. This car, you can tell it is gonna be a flagship vehicle, and it's not gonna be, it is a flagship vehicle. It is basically their rally car. And when you have a mechanical headlight, those things start to fail down the road. It's just an expensive thing to fix. This doesn't have that. This headlight is gonna be good 250,000 miles from now. So if you buy this car brand new, it has a lifetime powertrain warranty. That is from Toyota Beaver, and that's also who lent me this car, guys. Go check them out, go see this car, and see, and actually go check it out for yourself as well. Go to the dealership, they'll let you sit in it and check it out, and maybe take it for a test drive yourself. Now we're gonna pop this hood, and I'm gonna show you guys the little three-cylinder that's in this thing, and how small it is. I'm gonna pop the cover off the top of the engine here so I can show you guys the size of this three-cylinder. This is my hand, okay? This is the head. My hand covers more than half of the width of the head. How crazy is that? You can see that down the road, this is gonna be such an easy serviceable engine. Everything is exposed, everything is nice and open there, and this car is really bare to the bones. It's very raw. That is one thing I really believe about this car. Everything is just out in the open. Nothing's hidden. Check that out. We're gonna start moving into the interior of the vehicle and show you guys around and show you guys how to set the car up if you go test drive one or buy one yourself. So I'll see you inside the car. All right guys, so now I'm inside the Corolla GR. I'm gonna show you guys the startup sequence here. Um, it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is do the classic jiggly shake there and go ahead and push the clutch down and nice and classic. I love how Toyota gives you that nice cold start warning telling you to not be on the car until the engine is warmed up to temperature. That is something that's gonna help save these cars down the road. But more people need to know that. So everything's pretty uh, basic here. This car has cloth interior. You do not want to have a car like this with leather interior. This is a driver's car. You want cloth interior. This is very, very nice. And it's gonna actually feel really good when you're on the track and it's a hot day. Your legs are not gonna stick to the seat. When it comes to your interface here, it's pretty basic. You have Apple CarPlay, you have 
Android Auto, you have all that stuff. Controls are very simple here, nothing too crazy. This shifter feels like a Toyota Corolla shifter. It's really nice, but the thing is, it's still assertive. It's not too short where it feels like it came out of a Mustang or a Corvette or something, and it's not too long where it feels cheap, like this is a base model Corolla. It's got that throw, but it's so assertive, and guys, I just love it. Now you have your 50, um, 50, 30, 70, 60, 40 torque distribution button here, and it's very cool to use. So basically, if you push straight down, you can put the, uh, let's see if I can zoom in here. You see that little green icon right there, the GR4. If I push straight down the button, that's gonna put it in track. That's gonna be 50-50 torque distribution between the front and the rear of the car. And if I twist it to the left, that's gonna be 60-40. If I turn it to the right, that is 30% in the front and 70% in the rear. And guys, yes, it changes the driving ability 100%. Before I continue, I am getting 21.4 miles per gallon average. And guys, I have been doing a little bit of spirited driving here and I love it. And it takes like $30 to fill this car completely with premium, it's nothing. You can go through all of your gauge and your instruments here and see all of your information to keep your car nice and healthy. It's very, very nice. Under full boost, it gets to about two bar. It gets about right here. And guys, if you do a little bit of math there, that is about 30 pounds of boost. This car also is gonna have lane assist and um, in distance keeping as well. So if you're traveling long distance, this car is going to actually pretty much drive itself. You just have to keep a finger on the, on the steering wheel to ensure that you're a safe driver but this car can pretty much drive itself. Everything is basic when it comes to the roof here, the car um, or the ceiling, um, nothing too crazy. This is a garage opener for my home. So now we're gonna show the rear of the vehicle here, the back seats. You've got nice room. Guys, I'm six foot one. I'm not gonna really try to sit in this car. Actually, you know what, just to show you guys, I will. I'm six foot one and I have this seat all the way back right now, but it's still very nice. You got two cup holders right here in my camera lady's purse. Could I go for a ride in this car right now? I absolutely could. This car drives so raw. I never really thought that it was gonna drive the way it did, especially when I heard it was a three cylinder. I thought it was gonna be very uh, modern and kind of out of touch. As a guy who owned a turbocharged E36 chassis BMW, uh, boosted 240s, turbocharged Supras, um, LS1 six-speed Camaros, I can tell you that this car was built to be a driver's car. Oh, that turbo, it just, Man, that's just that's just what we're looking for right now. It's not assisted, it's just really, really good. I think Toyota really took their time trying to make the best car that they could for the money and they needed the right engine and the right transmission and the right chassis and they did it. Man, when that turbo kicks in, that torque comes through and there was just nothing like it. Even in fourth gear. Oh, it just pulls. Like, how come we couldn't get this in the GT86? It's not like, okay, this is, you know, they tried too hard. It's kind of like they just had a three cylinder laying around the garage and they were like, this will work. And they just slapped it into the car and made it all wheel drive because that's what we need. And they just gave it to us. Even the transmission, the transmission feels so good. It's not like it's a Mustang transmission where it's so tight. It doesn't feel that way. It feels like a Corolla transmission, but it's got really good modern gearing. It feels appropriate for the car. The one thing that I'm so happy for when it comes to this car is the auto rev matching. There's a button on the left here where you can have the car automatically rev match for you. And that is, oh, man, it's so nice. This is the car. The engine has a really good like laggy feel to it. A lot of you guys might not be the biggest fan of lag. I like the way it feels because it makes it feel really like natural. It feels the way a turbocharged engine should. It makes you feel like you can do better. It makes you feel like you can drive the car more. It makes, it reminds you that you have a turbo. Who wants to drive a turbocharged car if you're not reminded that it has a turbo? Like that's so ridiculous. Even Formula One lately, has electronic rejuvenation through the turbo, so the turbo has no lag. And I, I know that's competition, but you don't want that in a car that you're driving every day. You wanna feel that lag, and you wanna feel that turbo kick in. Just, oh, just like that. This car runs at 30 PSI of boost. Guys, it runs a little at two bar. Sometimes it peaks a little bit over, and sometimes it's right under. That is right at 30 pounds of boost. And you really do feel it with this little three-cylinder 1.6 liter. 
It feels like someone built this in their garage and they just re used really, really high-end components. That's honestly how it feels. Kudos to Toyota. They did a great job. That rev matching is just too sweet. Man, that is so nice. Toyota wasn't trying to make the fastest car that they could make. What they did, they made a driver's car. They made a driver's car. This is the funnest car I've driven in a very long time. The second funnest car I've driven after this was honestly like my buddy's 700 horsepower Supra. I'll have that on the channel. This is a very good chassis because it makes you feel very safe. But you can't have fun if you don't have confidence in your car. And that's exactly what this car gives you. There is a valve in the middle exhaust as well in the rear, and it is active and it opens up under full throttle. Besides that, it's a really nice chassis. I mean, it's basically a Corolla, guys. That's what they gave us. They just gave us the best version that they could possibly have made. I don't think they could have made it better. This car is not designed to be a zero to 60 car, otherwise they would make it a DCT car. They did not care about that, that whole zero to 60 thing. They care about making it a driver's car and that's exactly what they have done. Toyota, you keep this up, you are gonna stay at the top. When you get your opportunity to drive a Corolla GR, remember this, do not have too many people in the car. If you go for a ride, make sure you just have one person and Try not to put all your boys in there or your, you know, or all the family in it. It's still quick with everybody, but you want to feel the full experience. Just keep one person in the car. It really makes a difference. And if you're by yourself, if you get to drive the car by yourself, kudos to you. You're going to love it even more. I put my girlfriend in the car. She weighs like 110 pounds and it felt like I lost like 30 horsepower. I mean, I was, it was almost like comedic. When she's not in the car, I feel like I can, you know, smoke any scat pack or whatever or 5.0 out there. It feels really, really good. That's my final opinion of this car. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope this gives you a little bit of an insight on what this car is about. And thank you so much for your support. If you're interested in this car, check out Beaver Toyota's website. They were the ones that allowed me to review this car. They're trying to make a good connection with their customers and they want to do the best they can as a dealership. Check out their website. A link for this car exactly is in the description. It's a good one. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.